So now I'm going to show you how to measure uh, the weight of a liquid. So one thing to note when you're measuring the weight of a liquid, as was mentioned before, you don't want to pour the liquid onto the um, pan, the electronic pan balance, because it will damage it. And liquid has to be placed in a container since it doesn't have a fixed shape, so it will take the shape of the container. So the first thing to do is to, if you're going to accurately measure the weight of a liquid, and if it's in a container, you have to make sure that you know the weight of the container. And then when you measure the liquid in the container, that is going to give you the weight of the liquid plus the container. So in order to get the weight of the liquid itself, you have to subtract the weight of the liquid plus container minus the, the weight of the container. So I'm going to walk you through this. So today I'm going to use a beaker to measure 50 mils of liquid. So I'm going to actually add 50 mils of liquid from this 500 mil beaker into this 100 mil beaker. So as you will find out from your experiment, the beaker is not the most accurate container used to measure liquids. But I'm just going to show you how you can actually measure a liquid using the beaker. So first what I'm going to do is to weigh my beaker. So my beaker does not contain any liquid. Before I do this, I want to make sure that my I zero the pan balance by tearing it, press it, pressing the tear button. And then I'm going to put my beaker on to the pan. And it's telling me that it's 50.66 grams. So I'm going to take it off, take the beaker off, the 50 mil beaker off. And now I'm going to place. 50 mils of liquid into the 100 mil beaker. Okay. And I'm going to place it onto my balance. Before I do this, Remember, always tear. Then you place the beaker with the liquid on. When it stabilizes, I am recording 97.86 grams. So I can determine the mass of the liquid by subtracting the volume, the, the, sorry, the mass of the beaker plus the liquid, and in this case it is 97.86 grams. I'm going to subtract the mass of the beaker itself, which is 50.66 grams from the mass of the beaker and the water, and that will give me the, the mass of the liquid. 